if you want to negotiate with someone, if you want to persuade someone, if you want to present an idea that's going to be stimulating, appealing, and something that they may consider taking action on, it has to start with a vision. Now, when you're proposing something from a vision standpoint, and specifically you're trying to get them to do something that's different than they've done before, or somewhat, somewhat outside of the norm, when you're conveying that vision, it's even more critical that the bigger the vision, the brighter the picture. And what I mean by that, if you're asking someone to do something that they've done a hundred times, you can just say, you know what, I've got an idea, let's go do this, and most people will say, you know what, yes or no. Now, if you're proposing something that is really kind of outside their perspective, something they haven't imagined, something they haven't thought about, something they haven't considered before, it means you have to have more details, more information, make it more vivid, make sure that it's thought through from the standpoint that you've thought about the upside, you've thought about the downside. You've thought about what's in it for them, you've thought about what's in it for you. You've thought about the contingencies of what goes right, you've thought about the contingencies of what goes wrong. The more vivid you can make that picture of that vision that you have, the more likely it is that that person will embrace, at least from a possibility standpoint, what it is that you're proposing. If you just go and you hand them a piece of paper and you say, here, you should do this because I ask you to do it, that's not a vision. Okay, that's a piece of paper and it's a bunch of, bunch of words on a page. Now, if you all of a sudden can start to describe what it is that you're proposing in such a way that they can see themselves in that vision, they can see themselves taking action within that picture, they can imagine what it would be like if they were to enter into that joint venture with you. And if they could imagine what it might be like if their business would change, if solutions would be made, if opportunities would be taken advantage of, and they could see how that perhaps by embracing that vision that their hopes, their dreams, their desires, things that they've been working for, things they've been striving for, things they've been hoping to accomplish can take place within the vision that you're proposing. Now, do you think that might have some level of stimulation for someone? So one of the things that I would encourage you to do is that when you sit down and you write your proposal on paper or you sit down and you write your ideas on paper, think about it from the elements of an experience. Think about it from the elements of what you would like people to see, what you would like them to say to themselves, what you would like them to imagine. Use vivid language. Use lots of details that invites them into the picture, invites them into the vision that you hold for them.